Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 2 of my Minecraft Let's Play on my very own server, Neo Network. Info in the top pinned comment down below. So, I'm going to show you what happened in between this episode and last by, uh, you know, a, 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 a little meetup I have with some friends. Because you can see the tree farm is expanded. We did do a little bit of mining, but it wasn't off camera. Okay, it was not off camera. And all we got, we got 18 diamonds. And then I also have just been farming this. That's pretty much all that's been done. Oh, and uh, someone found us. Or someones. Trust Tree Weaver Profile 1. Okay, you guys are now trusted on the Neo Cubist claim. Do you guys understand how these rooms are, though? They're 5x5, five five, and then they're 7 blocks high. And I, I want to build another one right here. Another one right here, and then another one right here. Do you think we can do this? Yep, five by five, yep. as high as we can reach. Yeah, so yes. like, and then leave that one block wall on the side. Thanks, guys. Because it takes me a long time to make these. Okay, are we keeping what we find? Um, <laughs> I mean, did you find no, no. some? Come here, come here, come here, back up, back up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you find like diamonds or something, just keep them, yeah. No, no, dug, no, no, no. We're no. pretending you dug it out, so you keep it. We're not pretending. No, I'll, I'll tell him. I'll tell him I had help. I did. I, I had to ask for help because he's tree farm so hard to dig. It takes so long. <laughs> Even with efficiency five, this still feels slow. Oh, you want to use my diamond pickaxe? I'll, I'll take that one. I'll, t I'll take that. Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to episode two of my Minecraft SMP Let's Play on the oh, server you. that you can join today on both Java and Bedrock. IP down below. Literally sounds like a regular video. <laughs> what, did you already finish yours, Deanna? Yeah, I did Jeez, mine. you told me it was going slow. You told so mine went slow. Look at mine. Okay, what if we all work on one at once? How fast does it go? Where? It's in here, crowded. in here, in here. Where? Oh. I want to see how fast it'll go if we all work on it. Oh, this is so much better. This is efficient. This is efficient. It's efficiency. Okay, and you know what? Bada bing, bada yeah. boom! Look at that! Look at the satisfyingness. Look, you, you can just it's break. A room. Yeah, go over here with and break it. And tree. With a room. Yeah. With a room. So look at this. You ready? Three, two, one. Boom. What's boom. up? One more. What about here? What's what about? Here? Okay, you know what? Well, yeah. We, we, we definitely need a, two more right here, yeah. but let's all work yeah, on them together. So. Well, you. you do it at the same yeah, time? you dig out a little bit. Yeah, okay, this is awesome, dude. Now, I can't pay you guys much because I don't have anything, but I, <laughs> what I can give you is my sole promise that you will be forever entrusted on the Neo Cubist claim. <laughs> and if you, I was to ever get some diamonds, I could potentially give them to you in maybe like a couple weeks. <laughs> that sounds like a deal of the century. You kind of cut out like the main fun beginning part of exploring and looking for a really cool place to build. Hey, that's not true. Watch the first episode and you'll see that I did, in fact, walk around a little bit and <laughs> died four times. See, see, if I were promoting a server like this, I would do some serious, like, checking out of custom biomes. Like, like, custom just biomes, you said? Available on Neo Network? I did say on Java yeah. and Bedrock? For b it both, even both? the bedrock players get custom biomes. Yeah. What? No way! And and you can play yeah. with your friends even if you have different versions of Minecraft. Yeah, of it, course. It's off. Sounds like it's all about the community. Oh, it's all. You're a walking <laughs> ad reel for the server. Wait, what? What did I do here? <laughs> I did the inverse of what I. Who did that? I, uh, who Who's did that? Insane. I did that. But why? Who's why insane. did I do that? It wasn't. Why did he no, it was oh. me for sure. I definitely did yeah, that. Yeah, no. That seems yeah, like no. a very me thing to do. Okay, wait. I, I'm one off. of these points were no longer in your claim. Oh, I'm but off. I don't have enough money to buy more claims. Okay, this section um, were not in your claim. I'll give you yeah. money. I got. No, 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 no. Don't give me money because I want to be able to earn it on. I gave you a diamond. Sell it. That diamond no, is from digging no, no, out no, your no, claim. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. So you paid me for hiring you. That makes sense, actually, if you th don't think about no, it. No, you hired me, but you also claim the resources, just like, you know. Okay, well. if you actually you know hired what? somebody to do some mining for you? I like this you arrangement. You do mining. I like this arrangement, <laughs> actually. Why am I not, why do I have every claim around me, like, claimed, except the one I'm standing in, which is in the middle of a bunch of them? 
How much does it cost for one more? One more costs 29,000. <laughs> How much can you get for that diamond? 750. <laughs> quick mining That'd trip. Quick, yeah. You, did yeah. you say a quick mine, a group mining trip? Yeah, let's go. This is incredible. All right. Well, I have a mine right over here. Actually. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I, I, have, I have a mine right over here. Would you like to go through door number one? Okay. <laughs> or door. This is door number one. We have door number two. Or door number three. Well, I have one question. Those are all mine. You have to pick. Both of you get to decide which one. Door number one, door number two, or door number three. Well, the problem you is I see a ladder in door number one. So I guess we'll go with that one because we're a little, little, slightly low for diamonds. Just yeah, but you bit. always, always go for the middle. Okay. All right. You heard it here first. I'm going. Well, something happened here. So what we can do is if we have a two block space in between us when we're mining, we'll be mining yeah, the we most will. efficient way. So tree. Yeah, if you... and then we can also do the little arms sticking out on each side of the thing. Yeah. Yeah, but if you mine in this tree right here, and then you and then I'll that? mine. You want that side? Okay. Yeah, and then I'll mine over here because there's gravel here. I don't want to. I don't. I found lapis. Ooh. You can you... sell that too. We can sell that. We're making money to buy claim chunks so I don't get griefed. Yeah, I mean, the first video is getting kind of popular, and like, I love that, but that also means the danger level is rising, and I am definitely oh, yeah. in hiding. They're coming for you. Don't have any food. Deanna, can you pass it through the. I, I made a hole. It could be more fun if you pass it through. Here, here. tree? <laughs> can you mine up to that block? Can you. Can you I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll take one, yeah. one piece of bread, one piece of food, please, a la carte, extra salt. Oh, <laughs> yes, it works. There's some here. Let's go. I Wait, just need Deanna one piece. Took mine. I just Pass need one piece. Him. Okay, two. I'll take two. I'll take two. Wait, somebody take those. Okay, I will pay you one wheat. Oh, there we okay, go. four That's steak. That's a steak from me. I'll pay you one ladder, and uh, I can pay you a piece of gob co cobble deep slate. Diamond. You said you said you got that uh that uh fortune three. Yeah, I got an extra fortune too. Oh, yeah, I might, I might have to take a look at these diamonds before they're mine, just just to verify in, 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 for integrity's sake. Okay, I think you picked up the fortune pickaxe, oh. so why don't you mine it? Oh, and I'll give it right back. I swear. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and mine it. Go let ahead. me go let ahead. me go ahead just 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 to verify the the pocket size here. All right, we, we need it. We need to all stand on the diamonds so I can take a screenshot so I can show the fans. And there we go. Took a little bit of searching, but we found the way out. Okay. Wait. Um, okay, so so I just need to make sure no one's spying on me here. Let me. Yeah, that's mostly what we want to know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, wait, how do we get back? I need to grab some wood for some ladders. Well, this sure ain't I, right. I creeper! Do you need. Oh, two creeper! Of... I'm dead. <laughs> oh, hey. we had just enough ladders. Okay, I'm very weary about going up here. It's night, which. Oh, no, it's night. No, we can beat them back. I have been griefed. You can guess where these two blocks were and what it was. It's no, no, wait, there's a door. No, no, Here, there's doors somewhere because somebody was talking about, oh, it's so convenient. That doors. Hey, doors someone's near me. Look, no, no, over here, behind you, over here where? on this, what? the light, the light on the side of this mountain. Someone has, oh, someone has started a civilization near the base. It's empty sponge and they're here. Oh, and they're here. Are they AFK though? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like they're trying to make a little cave base. It's looking kind of nice though. Imagine all of us like joining up in this plains biome on the. That's like, what I'm saying, dude. Start an empire. <laughs> yeah, we just started an inland empire. Where they found we? it. <laughs> ha! <laughs> He's a f the first one. He's running. Why is he running? <laughs> He's running. <laughs> we gotta get him. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Well, you guys are again like you're welcome to start my like start a base near my base. Just please don't grief and, and that's all I ask. I mean down here where these trees are. Look right here. This is Oh, I see. I see the claim. Who is it? Wait. I don't have this whole part of my wheat base or my wheat farm in my base claimed. Uh oh, this is I have exited the claim. Oh my gosh. That was door number two oh, is out of claim. It's thirty eight thousand oh dollars now. Oh man. Credit is like a natural part of life. Credit. Paying your bills, you know? Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that I can be in debt to you, but what, what how much do I have to pay back and in what interval? 
we can talk about rates. You want to talk about rates? Yeah, can we do like a, can I get like something good, like, you know, 26% APR, uh, 72 month term, something, something yeah, decent. Yeah, you can have 26 APR. Okay, 26%, 72 months. Now, oh, I'll pay this back, but I'm going to owe you $100,000. Yeah, okay, no, hundred thousand. No, no. All right, you got it's, it. It's okay. a good debt. It's a good debt. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm no longer I, I know where to find you. I can collect. No, you don't know. You you do. You, I do know. Nope. You nope. You don't know. <laughs> this is a secret. Claim it. Claim okay. it. Claim it. Claimed. Let's go, dude. Okay. Oh, I so I have a decent way. amount of claims now, guys. I think we should be good. Just look at it. I yeah, look at it. I got a decent amount here. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I, I think that it was pretty fun to meet up with people. And if you want to see that happen more, then just let me know in the comments. I, I, I thrive on feedback. But yes, today we have big plans. I have so much to do. I'm so excited. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it all done. But like, we're kind of fail. We're not failing, but we're falling behind compared to the rest of the server. We don't have any money. Um, I did end up buying more claims, as you saw, just to prevent, you know, a little bit of uh, people getting near my base. But if I was to do slash claims, look at these people that are near me, man. We have someone right over here. We got Legion A1. And I'm going to actually go to the surface now because we need to see what's going on up there. Because we actually did find out that there are people near me. Okay, here's the surface. And as you saw in the footage, we did go above ground and we had found out that some people had griefed us. Oh, I was really hoping it wasn't going to be night. So I'm going to wait for it to be day potentially and then i'll come back up how, how close are we to becoming day very close okay let me wait for it to be day and then i'll come back okay it has to be day now there we go now i need to be kind of smart about it and mark where i go down so oh oh someone is building a base very close to us okay let's go investigate there uh, oh someone built me a heart okay thank you very much that's interesting hmm Okay, so a very interesting base. Now, I don't think I can go in here because it's claimed. Um, I don't know how big... Oh, okay, the claim isn't very big. I don't want to encroach, though. I don't want to encroach. I don't want to you know, invade their privacy. But to be fair, they don't really have walls. Uh, but it does, appear as, it does appear as though they are you know, starting a base. So it'll be interesting to see how that develops. Um, I also want to know what their username is. So if I do slash claims, I can see who has that claim. And it looks like it's Legion A1, so I'm, I'm excited to see how your base develops. Again, you guys are welcome to move near me if you can figure out how to find my, you know, area. But I do ask that if you grief, I will have to ban you, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, just, just give me a little bit of space, but you're welcome to do whatever you want to do. And then I spotted this from afar. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just a little mining operation. We, we can go in further, but I'm pretty sure, yeah. Looks like just a little mining operation. And then I had also seen something over here to the left. Let's go investigate that. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so we have horses over here. I don't know how helpful that will be underground, but I, I feel like we need to get cows. Oh, there's a cow. Do I have any wheat? I do have some wheat. So we could potentially get cows right now, too. That would be a big game changer for us. But over here is a nice little base. Now, I'm not sure whose this is. And I do need cows, but I'm not going to steal. I'm not going to steal. You're not allowed to steal on the server. No, no, no. But let's see. Whose base is this? Okay, so this is Empty Sponge's claim. Interesting. So they moved near me. I wonder if they even know that they're near me. I, I don't see them either. Oh, okay. They have a little bit of a mining operation in here. I like it. I like it. Maybe they're back in here and we can say hello, potentially. Hello, Empty Sponge. Are you in here? I see Bob Jones. I see Bob Jones. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to get their attention. Okay, Bob Jones. Um, I can't spam, but I'm just gonna spam. Hello, and let's see if they reply. Okay, I've just told them that Bob Jones, I'm at your door. So we're gonna see, cause I don't know if they're looking at their chat, but they are over there. And oh, oh, I think they may be coming potentially. Uh, no, they're not. Hmm. Guys, I think I just found a little secret. So I was like, you know, I can't open these fence gates. But over here is a nether portal, and I believe I could just walk right through it. Oh, okay. So someone else is starting a base near here. Oh, look. And they're, they're making a little bit of a villager breeder. Let's, let's see how long it takes them to notice me. I'll just kind of stand here. Interesting. Okay, good form, good form. Nice placements. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, someone's working over there. Nice. They are very focused on this build, that is for sure. All right, should I reveal myself? Should I, should I throw a piece of bread? Oh, I can't because I'm on their claim. You know what? Here, we'll, we'll, we'll just go in front of them. Yo, what's up? <laughs> hey, 
Hi. I'm just gonna say hi. Say say hi to camera. Let's see if they'll say hi. So you guys again are welcome to build here. Okay, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> now a bunch of people are gonna. Oh, he said hi. Okay, cool. Well, I'm curious to see how their base develops. I'm I'm kind of excited to uh, see it. And I think it looks good. But yeah, for now I'm gonna go back underground. I might try to get some cows. Um, can I borrow two cows? Let's see if this will work. Can I borrow two cows? I, I don't have any I don't have any cows, so I, I hope I can. We'll see. They may say no. I'll, I'll wait. Okay, I think they're actually I think they're actually gonna let me borrow two cows here. No, this is incredible. Are they actually? I don't know how to just get two. Um, okay. Okay, we have two cows. We have two cows. Okay, now we gotta push them in. There we go. There we go. Let's go. No, 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 no. Come back over here. No, 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 no. Come back over here. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I will uh, thank him appropriately and I'm gonna lead these back to my hole. Okay. I'm gonna try to hit him. See, make him notice me. I'm gonna say thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bob Jones. Thank you. Okay, he said no problem. Okay, we're going to take him out of here. And now we get to lead him all the way back home. So I'll do that. And then I'll meet you guys once we're close to getting back to our house. This should be a journey. I really love the base here, though, guys. I don't know if you're, like, friends or not, but I really love this area. And uh, cows are safe and sound. I'm just going to lead them back to my hole. Here's to hoping they can fall down a one by one ladder chute. If not, I'm going to have to do some large staircasing. Okay, little update. We picked up two cows along the way, so now we have four, which is absolutely amazing and absolutely gonna be harder to get down to our base. Uh, but I, I do appreciate the nice message here. But again, if you grief, you're banned. But yeah, guys, I'd love to like see a whole colony built around here. I think that would be absolutely sweet. I do ask that you just pull up the claims menu and you, you kind of see where my claims are and leave a little bit of a gap around them just so that I have room to expand. And uh, yeah, it'd be cool to eventually be able to do a, a little playback of footage from around here when there's nothing. And then, you know, in the future, if this is all like a big, you know, civilization, I think that would be incredible. And it seems we picked up a sheep, but not another sheep. So I didn't want to really go above ground, but like I said, for some things, we just kind of have to. Um, now we get to figure out, this is a fun part, can they go down a small hole? I'm pretty sure that the answer is no. Like, I I'm almost 99% sure actually, but let's just find out. Oh, they can. Kind of. Do they actually go down the ladder though? <gasps> uh, do they? No, I don't think they do, and now I'm stuck. Okay, so we're gonna have to like, what? Oh, if I dig the hole there, they're gonna fall. Okay, well, it looks like it's time for me to build a giant staircase downward. Did that cow get out of there? I think it did. Okay, so I'm just gonna build like a big old staircase down there and it's starting to become night, which means I have to expedite this like super fast. Oh no. Okay, so I have a tiny bit of a problem. We have all the animals in here, but there is a cave now and I'm very worried about going in the cave. Okay, everything worked out. Everything worked out. The cows are fine. Um, they're still following me because I have this wheat in my hand, which is perfect. Um, but like I said, I mean, I could accidentally kill these cows like super easily. So I'm going to do my best to kind of block everything off. And then, like I said, build this staircase downward. Oh, we have wood. Okay, we're in luck. Not sure what's with the cows and them looking all like weird, kind of crazy eyed at me. But you know what? I'm just not going to question it. There we go. That cow has fallen safely. And we should be good now, I think, to go down. Yeah, we should be fine. I'll even close off that. Okay, now it's time to staircase. See you in a bit. Oh, it, it appears as though there's someone on the other side of the wall. I don't know how they got here, but there is someone on the other side of the wall. So people are starting to find me. And like I said, you're welcome to make a base. Just be respectful. Okay, and now there's now there's three people here. I'm pretty sure they've I'm pretty sure they found me. I'm pretty sure all these players found me and they're teleporting to me. Okay, we really do have to hide, man. I'm telling you, man. That's why I said in the first episode I'm hiding, and, and now there's all these people. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, guys. Well, I abandoned the stair staircase plan because I have a better idea, I think. I'm going to make a giant hole that the animals will fall into, but don't worry. There's going to be water at the bottom, and I think this will be much quicker for me, and we should be getting very close to our base now. Hey, look at this, guys. So we hit our tree, which is perfect. 
So now all we've got to do is finish breaking out this. And uh, it's a little unfortunate because it looks like they're going to fall like in between two trees. But it's okay. We can build this wall back like really easily. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first take out these trees. Okay. Now I did want to show you guys like how much we expanded this tree farm, right? So we, we can go over here and we can now go over here. And that's what we had last time. And then we had that one. But then we added this one right here, which you got to remember our base is just right in there, right? Like this is our normal base. And we made this tree area so much bigger. So we have one over there now, one over there. And then we have another row right here. And this is all inside our claim, so it should be safe. But we can get wood a lot quicker. So I went ahead and just removed the leaves. That way it's kind of easier for us to see what we're doing here. And you should be able to see that all I'm going to do is lead the cows into a room that we're going to build. Now we have not built the room yet, so we'll have to do that soon. Um, but the cows should be able to just fall like straight down like this. Look at all these materials I got from digging down. That seriously took me like 10 minutes, but it's worth it to finally be able to enchant at some point. Now, it is weird since we're on the server. Every time we complete a mission, um, there's like slash achievements and stuff like that. And whenever we do these, you can see that we get XP. And uh, sometimes uh, when you get XP, you get like a lot. So that's why I'm already ranked like level 72 at the, the XP bar down below there. So that is one thing that is a little bit easier, but everyone on the server has that. So it's not like a huge like advantage for just me or anything. So we'll fill this up with water and then we should be able to just like drop the cows down. Now I'm going to like seal it off completely. That way nothing wonky happens. I'm going to climb this ladder back up, uh, which will take us to the top. And then we're going to push the cows in the hole and the one sheep. Okay. Well, I have reached the top again. And hopefully I can cover this up without it getting seen. There we go. We should be good. And then it looks like the players were over in this cave. I still see someone over there. But it looks like the players were in this cave right here. Looking at me through that dirt wall. Okay. We're safe. So now all we have to do is uncover the staircase sort of thing that I built. And then we just have to not trick the cows. But encourage them to fall down in this hole that has water at the bottom. They should be safe. If they die, I'll be very surprised. So we'll just get them down over here and then maybe I can like trick them to stand right here because this is safe. I kind of feel that man. I, I'll be I'll be completely honest. So we'll just get a bunch of them over here. That's nice. And then we just have to break it and they should fall and be okay. Okay, this is hard. <laughs> this is harder than I thought. Oh, they are still standing there. Um, I don't know. You know what? Maybe if we push the other ones, it'll cause them to fall too. There we go. Okay, that's weird. Okay, come on, buddy. I know, I know you don't wanna, but it's safe, I promise. Okay, did we get them all? Okay, we did. Now we can fall back down. They should all be alive. Yes, they are all alive, and I should be too. Uh, okay, we're safe, we're safe. Look, we're all good. I know, guys, I know it's very scary in here. I know, I'm so, <laughs> this is so difficult. I just hit the cow. Okay, so that's a solid wall. We don't wanna go that way. Oh, man, I just killed a cow. I don't even know how, but I somehow killed the cow. I, I am struggling to break these blocks. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're good. So we have th only three cows now. Look, he's running away because I killed him. Okay, come on, guys. Uh, he's still very angry with me. Yes, I did not mean to, okay? I'm very sorry. So now we just got to lead him. You know what? Honestly, they can just roam around here now. It doesn't really matter. We don't even have an area for them built. Um, one thing I'm really happy about is the fact that our wheat farm is going so well that I could fill it up, which means I'm probably going to want to make a bigger one. See, look at the farming achievement right there. We just got a thousand bucks. Um, unfortunately, if I want to buy another claim, since I've already bought 10, it's going to cost us $49,000. So that's a lot of fun. Um, but good news, a lot of our wheat is grown, so we're going to have to expand the wheat farm. And then we also need to figure out an area in our claim that we can expand and make a cow farm for. Okay, and in discovering where all of my claims are, I seem to have spotted a few diamonds, too. So I will gladly take those. Now, I don't have fortune, um, unlike I did when I was with my friends. But that leads us to having 24 diamonds, which is very helpful. Now, a good way to figure out, you know, like where your claims are. I'm using F3 plus G to pull up this claim boundary. Um, but it looks like I, for some reason, have this claim, um, this entire chunk here. And then I have another chunk over here. So if I run claims while standing in this chunk... You can see it says I'm standing in this chunk. So we have like 15 more blocks in this direction. So we have plenty of room. I think that's just part of the other vein. Yeah. No, is it, was this a double vein then? 
No, I don't think so. We now we have 27 diamonds. Nice. Okay. Um, now, due to my mining level, you can see that I got more than I actually mined. So if I mine this piece of redstone, for instance, you can see I got five and then I got four. Um, the more you mine, the better you kind of have a base level of fortune on the server with MCMMO. It's not overpowered or anything, but I did double some of those drops. Uh, what the MCMMO level does is you see at the top of the screen whenever I mine, um, well, yeah, you see my mining level at the top. So the higher that goes, the higher the chance you have of just doubling ores. So if I were to do slash mining like this, it says that I have a double drop percent chance of 15%. So just do slash mining if you want to check what your double drop chance is. Anyways, this is more than enough room to build a cow farm. So I'm basically just going to be expanding this now and making a room that I feel like is good for cows. Okay, so a few updates. As I've been digging this room out, I've also farmed all of our crops. And we have, the, we have a plethora of wheat now, which is really good. Um, I did breed the cows too. And uh, I figured out that this room is almost connected there's a baby cow but it's almost connected to our tree farm so we're not going to go any further in that direction um i'm just going to have one animal pen for now i'm going to have a little two wide walkway um so you can kind of walk from the house into here and then i'm just going to basically probably again a little two wide walkway so i'll probably put some little like support pillars on the sides here and of course i'm going to make all of this into the same kind of floor pattern and everything and then I'll dig out this room right here, and this will just be where our cows sit. Now, to get them in and out, I think we should probably just do like what we normally do with stairs, and uh, that should work just fine. Okay, and what I'm talking about is just putting... We could honestly do it one block inside, but it may be a little... Well, actually, you know what? It's not too close. Oh, but then the roof isn't tall enough. Maybe we'll have to figure out a different design, or just use a fence gate. Um, the problem with using a fence gate is that they can escape. So maybe, let me think about it. Okay, so I've seen other people do this and I believe that it works just fine, but let me confirm real quick. And then let me turn off the chunk borders. You guys don't want to see those. So let's go find this sheep. I don't know exactly where it is, so let me find it. it, it are you hiding from me, sheep? Hello? There's a lot of room, so it's pretty easy to hide from me in here. Oh, he's right here. He's on my crafting table. Come here, buddy. Oh, I was going to say, if it only gives me one piece, then I can't do this. And it literally only gave me one piece. Well, okay, that's, uh, that's a shame. So, <laughs> okay. Well, let me test something, because this may work. Can you bone meal? Can you bone meal grass? No, you cannot do that. Interesting. Huh. Okay, yeah. So, he's not going to grow his wool back, because, you know, there's no grass down here. So, we'll have to figure out another. I was just going to put a piece of carpet on top of the fence, but I'm sure I can figure something out. Yeah, I'm just gonna do what I said I wasn't gonna do. I just made the ceiling a little bit taller, and then I'm just gonna put some ladders here. That'll work just fine. And then obviously this area over here is gonna be two blocks wider as well. And there goes our first diamond pickaxe, or a second one, I really don't know. Luckily we have been very lucky with the diamonds, so we have more than enough to make another one. We've been going through these very quickly, and you can see in our mining e e escapades, we have so many blocks, dude. Just like an absolutely absurd number. So we're doing very well. Um, it's just slow going because I have to break everything out by hand. Okay, well, I'm just finishing up this room now, and let me tell you, it's turned out wonderfully. I love building underground because it just gives you so much inspiration and freedom because you don't have to worry about how things look from the outside. So as you can see, I did also mine the trees a little bit to get enough wood to finish this. I did change this up a little bit. I kind of moved over to the left because if you were like, again, I said, if you break this, then you get into the tree farm. So I decided I don't really want to be able to see like wood on the other side. So we're just going to turn this into a little bit of like a chest storage area, something like that. So let me make some chests here and kind of show you what I mean. So if we stack the chests like this, then look, we can have like a ton of chest storage here. So the last step, obviously, is to get the cows in here, which is going to be an absolutely hilarious thing to do because they're still hiding and uh, there's trees grown everywhere. And like, I don't know, there is our woolless sheep and I don't think the sheep will ever regain its wool just because, you know, there's no, oh no. See what I mean? They're getting stuck already. Okay. I just figured out I'm just going to have to widen all of these because they're, they're, they're never going to be able to get in otherwise. Even with a too wide thing, they still get kind of... I still get kind of stuck. I'm going to break the stone cutter too. 
Okay, guys, come on in. Yes, your your new home. It's nice and warm in here. There's hay in here. Or there will be hay in here at some point. Yep, come on in. The water's fine. Come on in. Okay, so they all seem pretty happy in here. I, 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 yeah, they're very happy in here. <laughs> okay, well, it, at least now we don't have to worry. I feel bad for the sheep. I don't know what to do. I may just... Anyways, so now we have a cow farm, which is awesome. Okay, now I should be able to conduct repairs on my house as well, uh, which will be nice. Okay, there we go. Everything's nice and fixed up. I know this isn't the same material, but it looks so similar that I just am not gonna, not gonna bother with it. I'm gonna make all these chests up here. It's just it's a little bit, it, it's a little bit tricky because I'm gonna have to like break out all of this above here just to be able to put the chest down and you'll see what I mean in a moment so let's go make some cobblestone stairs since that's the roof material and we get four from one crafting recipe which is perfect and then all we have to do is hop our way up here put the chest down like they're gonna be and obviously we're gonna have one more chest there but if we put stairs here no one will actually know that there's stairs you know what I mean because they look solid from down under and then we just fill all this in and boom now we can open that top chest and we have a bunch of chest storage now there's cool stuff since we're on a server I don't want to use it too much because I want to play like traditional survival which th that's cool you don't have to use it but I'm gonna use the auction house for a second and I'm gonna search to see if there's leather anywhere so I can make just so I can make item frames so nobody is selling any leather which is unfortunate what if I just look on AH like what is there like what are people selling obviously they're just selling a ton of stuff but nothing I really need so I'm gonna ask in chat will anyone sell me some leather on a h and let's see if that yields any results okay we have some leather in here and i'm just gonna buy as much as i can so we have 23 leather from that which is perfect now like i said i'm gonna be doing the cow thing on my own and thank you to whoever sold that i'm just gonna be making item frames basically that was the entire purpose, just so I can start to organize a little bit better without everything looking all jambled and jumbled. Uh, I didn't even make enough. Whoops. Okay, a few more. A few more. Okay, drag the mouse. Click. Oh, no. You know what? That was actually the perfect amount. Um, but I think I've made a little bit of a mistake because I can't get back up there to put my chest down. Um, there's no way to get the angle that I need. Even if I pop all these bad boys off. I'm gonna pop them all off just so I can try to wiggle my way up here but I don't think this is really gonna work if I put a chest down like right there it's gonna be facing me yeah so maybe if I break this one and I put this one down and then boom and will this work boom is that one chest yes it is nice okay so now we have some organization look at this guys we're coming up in the world man I'm telling you what and this should be simple to organize. I'm going to like, you know, have a materials chest. And then obviously we want to have like a rare chest and all that. So let me organize our inventory and then I will come back in just a moment. Here we go. And this is the rest of our stuff. And now look, we're nice and organized. Now I am missing one section at the bottom. Uh, maybe we'll just do this as an overflow since we're going to have so much of this stuff. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean, we're nice and organized now, guys. Look at that. And our cows are doing good. Now I think what we should do is expand our wheat farm because, you know, as big as this is and as nice as this is, we're still running out of food. And we're especially going to be running out of food when we start actually, like, you know, breeding the cows at large scale. So that's going to be what I work on next. Not a lot to record just because it's going to be digging out a big room. Um, I'm probably just going to dig out either one or two more of the same size rooms that I have here now. And I'm probably going to be digging in this direction. Now, I don't even know if I'm going to have a one block space between them or anything, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and I'll see you guys in just a bit. So what I've learned mining out two large areas, the cow farm and then now this, I really need to get efficiency five as quickly as possible. So that's why I made sure and got the cows down here first thing, because deep slate is just notoriously slow. Let me watch, just, just watch this for a second. Yeah. Okay, so the room is dug out, which is all fine and dandy, except for the fact that I don't have enough dirt. Um, when I look in my dirt chest, I only have 19 dirt, which is definitely not enough. So I'm going to take some logs, which I don't have. They should be grown. I'm going to take some logs and do what we did in the other room. Okay, and then we're going to find the center of the room, which I think is right here. 
and then just put the logs down. And then we'll remember to put the water here and surround it by dirt. There we go. Okay. So this will mean that there's four blocks in each direction that we can saturate. Perfect. Nice. Good deal. And then I'll follow the same torch pattern, which seems to work effectively. It's, I believe, two blocks from the edge. The edge here is then a torch. And then the edge is here. It's two blocks and a torch. Pretty simple to do. And it seems like this gives you enough light. At least, I'm pretty sure. So let's go back up. You guys remember. Ooh, I almost didn't bring a shovel. And we can go ahead and make some things here because we probably need a diamond shovel at some point. So we might as well make one. And then we're going to need another diamond hoe. So let's just make two tools in one here. A combo, if you will. Boom, boom. There we go. Let's go. So this thing is almost dead. I could probably just throw it on the ground. I mean, there's no point in keeping it. And then I'm going to make a diamond axe too. Probably going to want that. There we go. So we have all diamond tools now, which is really helpful. And I'm going to go up our staircase, which I believe I put in this door. And then we're going to, yeah, we're going to go get some dirt. But yeah, I did want to give a huge thank you guys to supporting the server so much. We've had so many people come on, both Java and Bedrock, and it seems like everyone's loving it. We have 170 people on on a Tuesday night, which is absolutely insane. So thank you guys so much for supporting the server and joining. And I really do hope to see you guys around. That would be really cool. Okay, so that looks like someone's claim is there, unfortunately, but I'm sure we can still find dirt somewhere around here. So let's take a little look. Since we're higher up in the world, it should be easier. Yeah, here's some dirt right here. Okay. And then there's some dirt there, too. Okay, cool. There we go. So both of those pockets of dirt are collected. And we have a total of, it looks like, almost four stacks. we got three and a half stacks of dirt, which will be more than enough for our devices. Now, I did realize also that both buckets of water that I got, I did not actually end up putting into an infinite water pool. So that's something we for sure need to make sure and do before we do anything else, because I can't risk losing that infinite water. Okay, so let's just yoink this water real quick. And then I don't really know where to put an infinite water source. We could just do something in the floor here. There we go. Then we could put one here. And then just simply take one from here. I guess I don't need to do that. And boom. Okay. So now we have infinite water and we can fix all this. Waterlog that slab. Take another bucket and put it back where it was. Okay, so I'm going to plant all these crops now. We're just going to do another field of wheat because we really, really need it. Boom, let's go. All right, give me a little bit to do this, and I'll come back and show you how it looks. And there we go, guys. A nice, healthy wheat farm, doubled in size. So there's not a whole lot we can do now. It's pretty much just a waiting game until we get like some efficiency because digging out these areas to make bigger parts of the house is just not possible with an unenchanted pickaxe. So I think I'm going to call it an episode here. I don't really want to. There's more I want to do, but I can't really until I wait. So the only thing I'm going to do in between this episode and next is farm wood and multiply these cows. I promise that's all I'll do. If I meet up with any friends or anything, I'll make sure to record that so you guys don't miss anything. But yeah, thank you guys very, very much for watching this series. Again, I'd love to see you on here. Link, uh, just everything you need to know about the server is going to be in the top pinned comment down below. Anyways, guys, the secret code for today's episode is going to be 89301. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's video. Let's confuse some new viewers. Put 839931 down in the comments below. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!